Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies, your leader in power products. Um, today I'd just like to quickly uh, touch on, from my last video, we are mentioning about converting um, amps, uh, or watts to amps, or inverter size to, to amps and their current draw. Today I'd like to work out, tell you work out how to know what size inverter you need to utilise. So basically that comes down to working out the amount of watts you have in total. Uh, in 240 volt appliances. So if you take, um, say, anything with a heating element in it, for instance, they generally need a lot of, um, a lot of power um, just to get that intense heat up in short periods of time. That's the way the heating elements work. So even it can be a little tiny hair dryer, but they still pull around 17 to 1800 watts of power. Your convection cooktops are generally around 2000 to 2200 watts of power. Uh, air fryers can be anywhere from 1600 to 2000 watts as well. So that's getting up there, which means that you basically would need at least a 2000 watt inverter to run any one of those appliances. Now, to convert that back to amps, um, which then uh, is the amount of current that you would need to flow from a battery to sustain that power for any period of time. So let's say you've got um, a, a 2000 watt um, inverter, for instance, you're effectively going to be uh, running probably around about needing around about 160, 165 amps um, of power to, to do that. Now, if you're running a lithium battery, they generally have a 100 amp BMS in them. So you would need to run two batteries, not just one. So you run two batteries in parallel to be able to cover that flow. So if they run 100 amp each, one you run two in parallel, you can flow 200 amps, which will cover you then your 160 to 170 amps that you'll need to run 2000 watt inverter. So you've really got to work out and, and really sort of justify whether it's worth having those home luxury uh, appliances while you're camping. You know, like sometimes just flicking the the Weber on or uh, clicking that uh, gas cooker um, for a little bit is a little bit easier or get back to the old days of just cooking over the old campfire. That's the beauty of going camping. Um, but if you do need it, then maybe those appliances are best kept for when you're in a caravan and you're plugged into 240 volt. Because um, as I said, you can get appliances to run them, not a problem at all. So you can get a 2000 watt inverter, no worries. Um, but as I said, if you're running uh, a 2000 watt inverter drawing 160 to 170 amps and you've only got and you've got a 200 amp hour um, battery or 200 amp hour lithium battery which is a very large battery you've only got just over an hour's worth of uh, power and then you've got to be able to replenish that power by the next day so you've got to think well geez I'm going to need a bigger solar panel to be able to put all that power back in as well so yes you can do it but unless you've got a really big battery bank you've got to just see whether it's justifiable in doing so um, but yeah quite easily as I said work out just total up all your appliances that you want to run at, at the one time obviously individually is different but if you're running two or three appliances at the same time you need to know that total wattage divide that wattage by your power source so as I said if it's 1200 watts in total and you've got a 12 volt power supply you know that your current draw is going to be 100 amps so uh, therefore then you're going to need uh, an inverter around sort of that you know as I said that 1200 watt but you also you need a battery that can flow that sort of power so I would then say back it off to say a thousand watt inverter um, continuous uh, obviously the batteries can peak slightly more on their BMS but only for short periods of time so they'll cover you for things like um, coffee machines and, and that type of thing. But yes, all you gotta do is add up your wattage, divide it by your power source, and that will give you your amps and your current draw, and then you can work out what appliances you would need and what sort of battery you would need and what sort of cable sizing uh, and switches you would need to be able to cover those sorts of flows. So if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at Bainbridge Technologies, or drop us a line and we'll get back to you. Until next time, bye for now.